What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, come in, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to use the symmetry tool inside of Procreate. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, if you're wondering what size artboard I'm using, it's 18 by 18 inches. See, the reason I use that size because the bigger your artboard is, it hide all the flaws. It don't, you don't really get to see the flaws in the pixels. You know what I'm saying? But you don't get that many layers. So the bigger your artboard is, the fewer layers you get to use, and the smaller your artboard is, you get to use more layers. But you gotta sacrifice quality. That's why I use bigger artboards. Okay. What you wanna do, I like to start out with a sketch. So I find a neon color. Let's go to drawing guide then you want to go to edit drawing guide and now you want to come over here to symmetry boom you can make your in between line any color you want it to be and hit done now whatever you draw on one side of the line is going to appear on the other side as well so most of the time what i draw using the symmetry I be drawing faces. And where I get some nice references photos from, um, Pinterest. All you gotta do is go inside, of, go to printpinterest.com and then you type um, front view faces or front faces and it'll give you a nice uh, photography photo of a front view of a face. And then you can use it as a reference and then just, you know what I'm saying, create your own from that. That picture, that's what I do a lot. So, yeah, man, I really love using this symmetry too, man. Okay, fur. But I always start out with your sketch. Don't go right into it, because you got to kind of map everything out. That's what I like to do first. We like to map everything out first before we start with the, the main. You know what I'm saying? Just a nice little layout. I'm gonna draw these lips like this. I'm gonna draw. Go right there, go right here like that. Probably bring this in a little smaller. Bring the cheekbone in like that. Also, bring this in. But you see, I like to start out with my little sketch first, man. Get us a nice little blueprint out. And it's okay if you don't start out real good using this symmetry tool. It took me some time to get, get the hang of it, you know? But trust me, you're gonna have a lot of fun playing with this tool. You feel me? Okay, I'll throw the eye. Like that. And we're gonna draw this. We're gonna draw the eyebrow. Like this. Mm -hmm. See, and then always you gotta make the ear start with that eye, at. then it ends with the nose. It keep it even. You know what I'm saying? So boom, give him a nice little hairline. Come up like this, then it come over. Uh oh. My touch stream be tripping. And we just gonna do the sketch. This is tutorial purposes. If y'all wanna see a part two of this video and for me to finish it out, 
get this to 100 likes. Get this video to 100 likes, and we'll and we'll come back and finish it. Come back and finish it for you guys. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut this eye in real quick like that. Boom, 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 boom. But like I said, whatever you do on one side appear on the other side, so it'll buy your time. But the symmetry tool only shine when you're trying to make the other side look exactly like the other side so if you drawing somebody with a face turned slightly to the left or slightly to the right it ain't gonna turn out good so you gotta make sure you drawing like a straight view it can be animals it can be anything you think of but both sides gotta be exactly the same for the symmetry tool to really work because if you don't got it looking the same it ain't gonna work remember i told you don't be hard Put the little hair out there like that. Mm-hmm. Strip, strip it here. But yeah, get in the practice of sketching. Practice on sketching. Because if you, you master how to sketch, you're going to become a, a way better artist. A sketch is just a blueprint. So you get your blueprint perfect. When you build that house, when you build that artwork, it's gonna turn out super dope. You feel me? So I'll keep that in mind. a nice little sketch. I want to make this nose come out a little wider. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to span this line like that. And we're going to bring this one over like this. And we're going to bring this one over like that. But yeah, the more you practice, man, the better you'll become as an artist. So, if you was ever wondering what's the secret to become a better artist, it's the more you do it, bro. Trial and error, you gotta draw a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I think, I think this is one of the best programs to really do it, because it'll give, it'll give you that feel like you're really drawing on paper, so. Like drawing on paper without wasting paper. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Got us a nice little sketch. And there you have it, you guys. How to use the symmetry tool. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, leave your comments in the comment section. Tell me what y'all want to see next. Make sure you stay tuned, cause more heat coming soon. And I'm out this time.